got a bit of paper here to remind me. So this is the question that came in and it reads, who do you approach for work? Direct to the client, the ad agency, the design agency, how do you find them? How do you approach them and how does this process change at different points in your career? I'm going to try and answer most of this without this being a huge, huge video. So, who do you approach for work? Now, this really depends. The way that it works is kind of like this. A, we'll start with a major company, we'll start at like the top level. Um, a major company will have an in-house marketing team. And that in-house marketing team will directly manage some aspects of their marketing and some photo shoots, but they will also outsource things to different ad agencies. Um, ad agency is a term we use. You also have design agencies, which sort of do more than nuts and bolts and building of stuff um, in a very digital way. Um, but the ad agencies are the people. And these ad agencies are who you need to be approaching. And within the ad agency, a big one will have an art buyer and smaller ones will have creative directors. Um, the big ones have creative directors as well, but they will have someone called an art buyer whose sole job is to buy the artists or their, their art or what, you know, however you want to put it. Um, so these are the people you need to contact. And you think, great, I'll go and contact them. How do I contact them? Not as easy as you'd think. They keep themselves pretty well hidden because they don't want all of us to bombard them with rubbish. Um, so, I have found the best way is to get an agent and your agent will have these contacts already from working with previous people and they'll be able to introduce you, set up meetings, take your booking, go in with you with your book and sort of go, look, here's who I am. This is what I think the world of food looks like. Um, and that, that's a real good way into it. And then you sort of build up a rapport over years. Um, you'll nip out for coffees with them and that sort of thing. Getting an agent, however, is a Thing in itself and I'll probably make a video at some point on it in the future maybe in the next year because I've just changed at the moment and I think I need more experience in my current setup to be able to make a new video of interest um, but by the by having a good agent is very important but having a good agent alone won't get you those bookings because you need to have the good work so it's a very chicken and egg scenario but if I had to choose something to come first get the good work once you're producing good work you need to be putting it out on Instagram because everybody's on Instagram. And you're not trying to target hashtags like Broncolor, Canon, off-camera flash because that's just photographers looking at it. You need to try and target topics which creators will want to look at so they see you and you want to keep putting out very consistently styled work because this way they'll start to recognize you. Now this is probably like 5% or 10% of your marketing effort, but this is a good way to get going. So how do you contact them? There's a few ways. The first thing you should probably do is send them an email. Then maybe post them something, maybe some nice chocolates with a portfolio and some coffee, or you know, something nice, something just, which might make them look at your work and they probably won't contact you. And then you have to continuously and continuously do this. And it's just one of those long, long ongoing slogs that you have to, you know, it's part of the business, it's part of the job. Assuming you've never contacted one before and assuming your work's of the right standard for them to take notice, you're probably gonna be knocking on doors for two years until it really has any effect. And one of the big reasons that people don't produce the work with these big companies and these big campaigns is just they don't keep knocking on the door. And you know, you, you need two things. One is you need the skill and the talent to produce the work, and the other one is you need the hours and the time to actually put it out there and get out there and get in front of the right people. And without those hours and that time, it's very, very hard. Let me refer back to my sheet. So, at the level below where I'm working now, where I worked before, it was more local. And for that sort of thing, I would go to business network meetings and they were horrible. I didn't like them at all. It's not my cup of tea, but I used to go to the business networking meetings and you know, meet small ad agencies, meet small design agencies who are local. You might need a bit of work doing with them. It's very relaxed. It's very low key to turn it by yourself. You might show them some of your work. And if they need your services, they'll book your services. It's very easy to get into that bit. There aren't that many barriers apart from, you know, making a good impression, being presentable. I don't really bother being presentable anymore. I don't know if you can see my shoes and jeans, but I'm like, I'm covered in paint. I've not ironed clothes in years. I don't care anymore. But back then, you know, I'd don a shirt, a jacket, make myself look reasonable. Um, because these things matter at different amounts at different stages in your career. Right now, it doesn't matter what I look like as long as my work looks okay. And to be honest, haven't been in lockdown for a year, no haircuts or anything. I don't care either. So that's all good. Now, at the very beginning of your career, if you're a food photographer and you can relate this to anything really, you're probably going to want to work with a local restaurant. And the best way to get in with them is to turn up, drop them an email, give them a phone call, show up with some of your work and say, look, next time you need my services, maybe give me a shout. 
And it is really that simple. It's just a case of contacting the people. The only real difficulty is finding these people. So I hope that's answered some of those questions. And perhaps it's given... And perhaps it's given you a bit of an insight into how it works as a commercial photographer and how things kind of differ as you go along, but really it's the same thing whether you're a beginner or a top level pro. You need to make the connections, you need to meet the right people, you need to know who those people are. Get on LinkedIn, get on Instagram, but mostly continuously put good work out there in a very specific style within your niche. What was that, Moggy? She's up. Right, I'll see you all later. Bye bye.